Hey everyone, this is Scott from CertMedia.com, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up the Cloudflare WordPress plugin. Uh, my general rule of thumb with this plugin is you should have it installed if you're using Cloudflare, particularly if you set up the caching for uh, HTML caching via the Cloudflare page rules, which I did go over in the Cloudflare configuration guide. And the great thing about this plugin is it has auto purging functionality. However, some of the settings in this plugin conflict with the recommendations I gave in my other video, and I don't find them to be ideal. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set this plugin up for your website. When you first install it, you're gonna get this nice little screen that basically says, hey, you need to create your account, or if you already have an account, you simply need to sign in. Now, to sign in, you need to have readily available the email address and your API key. So previously, I had this plugin option enabled. So I'm going to copy my API key and I'm going to get my email address. If you're curious on how to retrieve your API key, you need to go to your cloudflare.com account and then you're going to need to click on your picture and then go to my profile, go to the API tokens, and you're going to need to get the global API key, which will ask you to enter your password. You're going to copy that and you're going to place that right there. And then you're just going to insert the email address that is attached to the account and click Save API Credentials. Once you do so, it should populate just like it does here. Now, depending on your plan for your Cloudflare account, you may have some additional options under the Settings tag, but what's most important here is that you enable Automatic Cache Management. This will give auto-purging functionality to where if you're using something like the Cloudflare page rule to cache your HTML, this will automatically purge it. I do recommend you use this even in those situations where you're not solely to avoid any issues that you may be having. As you see right here, enabling this feature will trigger a full cache purge when you update the appearance of your website. You can go ahead and check this. Do not check the optimized Cloudflare for WordPress setting though. The reason for this is it disables the rocket loader and it tweaks some of the settings that I find to be less performance in the Cloudflare panel. So do not check this. Just follow the configuration guide in the video that I made. And if you haven't seen it yet, I'll use the little eye thing to put it in here so you can click it. Under the settings tab is when you can now make some slight adjustments to your Cloudflare settings, but really this panel isn't meant for changing your settings. It's just a connection point, really. It's kind of simple and outdated, but you can choose to enable always online mode. In the guide, I do have this enabled. If you are using the pro plan, this will enable the Mirage and Polish feature. If you're not, this won't do anything. Development mode allows you to easily turn on development mode, which will work for three hours and then auto disable. This just bypasses the Cloudflare optimization features. I recommend doing this if you are developing actively on the website. You could choose to cache the HTML at the CDN. This requires the business plan because they set it up to where it will bypass on cookies, which is the correct way to handle this. Um, or you can use workers as a workaround, but this is their preferred method. This is also more performant, so if you are using the business plan, you should go ahead and use this. The security level should be set to high. If you're using the pro version, you can enable the application firewall. If you're using the business, you can modify the advanced DDoS protection settings. For automatic HTTPS rewrites, that should also be set to on. And then the last tab is just an analytics tab that gives you some generalized information about your website, the request count, and so on and so forth. Uh, it's a really quick and simple plugin, but if you don't have any other plugin that connects to Cloudflare, this is what you should use. My general recommendation is if your caching plugin, whether that is um, WP Rocket, or Swift, you should use those as the connection points. So that way their pay, when the page cache clears on those, it also will clear the Cloudflare cache. But if you're using Cache Enabler, go ahead, install this plugin, set up the auto purge management. It should work functionally the same and your website will be a lot smoother from here on out. If you have any questions about this plugin, please feel free to ask in the comments below and I'll try to help you out. Otherwise, make sure to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.